so we can see you too. Yeah, there you are. Hi. Um, Mosab's topic is quantitative assessment of lean and BIM implementations in a construction company. And um, Mosab has uh, a lot of experience in the construction industry. He's worked not only here, but also in uh, Astana in Kazakhstan uh, for a major company. Uh, he was top of his class at Birzeit University in bachelor's and master's studies. And he has overcome many, many challenges in doing a great deal of field work uh, in the course of pursuing his master's degree. And we gave him the very significant challenge of uh, obtaining quantitative evidence for uh, lean and limb. Uh, so much of what you will hear about is the application of lean construction together with building information modeling and the effect that that has had within the company which provided the case studies. Um, so we have uh, 40 to 45 minutes for the lecture. We'll then open for questions for 10 to 15 minutes. We will have to limit it to 10.30 Israel time sharp uh, because we have a second lecture of Iran and we, don't, and we want to start that on time. So at this point, I will ask you all, other than Musab, to mute your microphones and we'll give Musab the floor to begin uh, his lecture. Musab? Yeah. Hi, good morning, everybody. Thanks, Professor Rafael, for this very nice introduction. The, my thesis subject is quantitative assessment of lean and PIM implementations in a construction company. The table of contents for this lecture will be introduction, literature review, methodology, and to give an example for the case study, results and summary. <clears throat> like in this uh, research, we executed two main experiments. One of them is to measuring the improvement occurred in, produ in production and in construction. And the other one is measuring the flow in construction projects using construction flow index. Lean construction. Lean construction is the application and adaptation of the concepts and the principles of Toyota production system to construction. And it includes several principles like value, value stream mapping, flow, pull, and continuous improvement. Building information modeling PIM, which is the tools, process, and technologies that are facilitated by digital machine readable documentation about the building, its performance, and continue to its planning, its construction, and later on during the operation and the maintenance phase. Life cycle assessment, which is defined as a valuable tool that guides the sustainable design, products, process, and activities, and it consists of four main stages. Uh, many researchers have studied some aspects uh, of lean, such as last planner system. According to Alarcon et al, he collected data from projects in Chile, and he tried to evaluate and to study the, the main causes for non-completion work in, uh, for, non, uh, for last planner system. He found that the reason or the main reasons for non-completion works are laborers, subcontractors, design problems, and poor planning and coordination. Also, Salim et al. used the same methodology for different projects, and he found that the main causes are weather, scheduling, coordination, and prerequisite work. Bortolaza and Formoso executed the same methods for, to measure the effect of last planner system in Brazil. He found that the main causes for non completion work are also labor's planning in different types of projects. According to Bevan and Zachs, they, found, they performed a study in construction projects and they found that last planner system strengthened social networks and communication, even if last planner system implemented partially only based on weekly work planning. Also, Rincon et al. performed the qualitative inter interviews to study the effect of subcontractors behaving as autonomous agents. They found that Last planner system did not prevent the behavior of subcontractor autonomous agents. Other studies performed to assess the impact of virtual design and construction, VDC. According to Mandagano et al., they presented a performance modeling methodology which helps companies to assess VDC implementation. Moreover, 
Zax et al. showed that virtual design and construction implies intensive and extensive collaboration, and it adds value by removing the waste in design construction through using virtual prototyping. Other researchers studied the impact of BIM. According to Sakar et al., he identified five complementary components specially designed to enable assessment for PIM performance. Moreover, Zax et al. mentioned the importance of PIM in the big room in a project called Rosha Hain, and they found that it drastically improved the project design process, reduced design cycle time, and removed a large amount of waste of waiting and rework. Also, Zax et al found, uh, studied the relation between PIM and the planning in, the, in terms of 4D. And they found that the benefits of 4D models and how they can help project managers to compare different schedules easily. Other studies concern on the relation between lean and PIM. According to Zax et al, he's, he mentioned the relation between and lean uh, by developing a matrix and finding 56 interactions between the two of them. 48 or out of 56 interactions from documentation evidence. Clemente and Cahidania applied a BIM lean matrix approach in the MEP maintenance works. They found that a combination between last plan of system and BIM play an important role in reducing the duration of activities to about the half. Other studies focused on the relation between lean and the green. Dexide et al. studied the relationship between lean construction and sustainability. They mentioned that there is a strong linkage between sustainability and lean construction. Both are related, are process relating, including resource management, waste reduction, energy minimization. On the other hand, some studies argued that there are some contradictions between lean and green for a rating system. For example, lean is a process oriented while lead is a product oriented. So in some cases, in order to get lead points, this requires investment of time and effort that does not bring direct value to the client. Other studies concern on the relation between lean, PIM, and environment. Koskela et al mentioned that the synergy between PIM, lean, and sustainability is a major opportunity to achieve step change in construction problems. Saeg et al. performed a systematic literature review on the interaction between lean, PIM, and sustainability in the AEC industry. The gap this research wants to cover, almost all studies concern on qualitative assessment or quantitative assessment for implementing PIM, lean separately, but no research covers both of them quantitatively. The main research methodology used in this thesis is a case study research, which is suitable method in construction management. It's not easy research method because each case study has its unique features. Also, life cycle assessment following ISO 14040 methods used to calculate the reduction in greenhouse gases emissions. Quantitative analysis used for data collected from control department in the construction company. Two construction companies were studied in this research. The first one is Company A, which is a leader company in the area of Lean and PIM, and Company B, which is a traditional company and works until now in a traditional way without any implementations of these innovations of PIM and Lean. Now, the experiment questions. To what extent can lean and BIM reduce construction costs and the scheduled timeline? To what extent can lean and VDC improve operations and construction? Can they reduce the non-value adding activities? How can they reduce the wastes? What are the environmental impacts of implementing lean and BIM in terms of reducing the greenhouse gases emissions? What is the economic impact? And how can they improve workflow in construction? Experiment number one is empirical assessment of the impact of VDC and lean on environment, cost, and waste in construction operations. And we selected for this, uh, and we selected for this study, one of the most important construction operations is the masonry works, 
partitions wall because it has already studied and we have data from previous projects in the past. So we can measure now and see our, uh, see the improvement occurred. The quantitative research sources here are five projects, two of them already studied one in 2007, it's traditionally project before the company started their lean and PIM implementations. The second one is studied in 2014 and it's lean project. Now in 2019, we studied these three projects, project A3, O4 and P1. Project A3 is a lean project. Project A4 is a, have a combination of lean and VDC and the project P1, which is related to the traditional company, it's called P1. Now, in the traditional project, we found a lot of wastes. Here we can see the amount of wasted material. Here we can see the disorder of the workplace. Moving pallets, they stack pallets on top of each other. So this required a huge amount of time of workers only to moving pallets. Also here we can see the amount of wasted material. Unsafe workplace. Due to lack of coordination between different subcontractors in the working, this required and this lead for the work. Now, in the company that they implement PIM and Lean, in the project that have Lean and VDC, the company built a, a model, VDC model, using Rivet. They modeled all the structural elements and all the finishing activities, started from the partitions walls and for, the ME, for all the MEB systems. What they did, they made optimization for the partition walls by making the wall to be multiple of the blocks. So they reduce the cutting to the minimum. Also, they got all the quantities and extracted all the quantities from the VDC model. And in this project, they used the three types of blocks, white on the blocks and gypsum blocks, green and white. So they got the exact the quantities for each type and deliver it to the right location at the right time with avoid the stacking ballots on top of each other. So the first question is how could lean and BDC improve the operations in masonry operations? Can they reduce the non-value adding activities? We can see here for the project studied in 2007, we can see the amount of value adding activities which represented in green color is only 34.5%, while the others are non-value adding activities. The most interesting point that when we started a traditional project in 2019, we found that the value adding activities until now still the same, 35.8%, which means that there is not improvement, and the rest is non-value adding activities. Now for the project studied in 2014, the value added activities increased significantly to 63.6. .6. For the project we studied in uh, 2019, there is also um, uh, some improvement occurred and the value adding activities increased to 66.3. For the last project, which is uh, have a combination of lean and VDC, the value added activities increased significantly to 68.4 and the non-value adding activities reduced to the minimum to 31.6. And, and this results show us very interesting point. Assume the workers work for 10 hours each day. For the first project, this means that when we said 34.5% of his time value adding activities, this means only three and a half hours he works and he building blocks, but the rest of his time is, uh, he doesn't, uh, he doesn't uh, build blocks. He, he makes something non-value adding activities. But for the last one, for uh, this project, uh, the Lean and BDC, this means that uh, worker spent around six and a half hours of his time building blocks, which means that the productivity approximately doubled. Now this table, Summarize the value adding activities and the non-value adding activities studied in, the, uh, in this uh, case study. The first row shows the value adding activities in the different projects. We can see in the second row that the cutting reduced from 24.1 in the traditional project to only 1.3 in the lean and VDC. 
Also, if we look for moving ballots, it reduced from 19% in the traditional project to only 1.3 in the lean project. So we can see that there is a huge improvement occurred due to lean and PEM implementations. After that, we did life cycle assessment application to the construction process. The functional unit is defined here as the partitions in a 27 floor residential tower with 170 apartments in Tel Aviv. The building materials used were uh, autoclaved erated concrete blocks, which marketed as Waitongi block and gypsum blocks. Waitongi blocks have a greater cradle to get global warming intensity of 327 kilogram CO2 equivalent per ton, while the gypsum blocks have a greater to get a global warming intensity of 105.3 kilogram CO2 equivalent per ton. For transportation energy, for the Waitong factories, it's located within a 100 kilometer radius. The landfills are located within 50 kilometer radius and the global warming intensity factor for the transportation is 67 grams CO2 equivalent per tons kilometer. Now, in order to estimate the quantities in the different projects, we found that in the, in the traditional project, since there is no VDC and no PIM model, what we did, we measured the things by manual methods. We selected six apartments from A, B, C until F with the lubies, like we, we took a batch of one floor and we measured it in a manual methods by meter to see the exact quantities built from different types of blocks, block five, 10, 15, and 20. And we compare it with the actual quantities delivered to that floor. We found that the amount of waste is 13.1 cubic meters, which in terms of percentage is around 24.2%, which is a huge amount of waste. Now, for the lean and VDC project, since the company built a VDC model for the whole project from floor number one until floor number 27, so we extracted the quantities from the VDC model. But for the basement and the ground floor, since there is no VDC model, we measured it in a manual methods. But there is also another point. For the VDC model, before we extracted the quantities from the model, in order to be sure that the quantities are uh, accurate, we used the same methodology. And I measured six apartments, like a patch of one floor, to check the accuracy of the VDC model. And we found that the accuracy of the model is 99.5%, which is perfect to get the quantities from that model. Now, this table, Summarize for us the waste and the global warming intensity from traditional and lean VDC management. If we look for the first row here, it shows us the delivery of the quantities for the traditional managed project is 2,225 cubic meters. And the second column, the lean and VDC project, it shows that the amount of blocks is 2,313, which in terms of scope of the project, approximately the same, have the same scope. Now, the most interesting point is the waste volume in the traditional project is 463 cubic meters, while in the lean and VDC, it's 220, which means that it's less than the half. Now, if we go here for the total inputted global warming intensity in waste, we can see that in the traditional project, the amount of waste is 62.4 uh, ton CO2 equivalent which reduced significantly in the lean and VDC project to only 21.8, which is less than the third. In terms of global warming intensity per block volume, we found that in the traditional project, it's 169 kilogram CO2 equivalent per meter cube, reduced to only 112 in lean and VDC managed project. Now, how I mentioned, there is many different types of, uh, of blocks used here. White on the block and gypsum blocks, two different types, green and white. So in order to remove the effect of the material and to study only the effect of the construction and management approach, the lean and VDC, we assume that both the projects will use the same construction material and they will use gypsum blocks. Now the delivery of the quantities, the waste volume, all these numbers are the same. 
But here, if we go to the total input of the global warming intensity in waste, we can see that in the traditional project is 46.7, and here is 21.6, still less than the half. And if we look for the global warming intensity per block volume, we found that it's 122 kilogram CO2 equivalent per meter cube reduced to 106, which proved that even if we used the same construction material, the dominant for reduction of the greenhouse gases here in this experiment was the construction management approach, the lean and VDC. After that, we did life cycle cost analysis, not only to see how much the savings occur in greenhouse gases, but also to see how much the saving in terms of money. We found that if we look for the last row, we found that the total cost of wasted material and its associated transportation is 177,000 shekel in the traditional managed project, reduced to 150,000 shekel in the lean and VDC management, which show an improvement of around 18%. So the results uh, for this experiment, there are three things, operational impact, environmental impact, and the economic impact. The operational impact results show that lean and VDC play an important role in reducing the non-value adding activities and increasing the value adding activities from 35.8% to 68.4%. Also, it reduced moving pallets from 19 to 4.8%. It reduced the cutting from 24.1% to only 1.3%. It reduced moving between stories from 3.7 to the third to 1.3%. Also, the results show that even if, if lean implemented alone without PIM, it reduced the design changes from 10% to 5.2%. For the environmental impact, the results show that lean and VDC reduced the block waste from 463 cubic meter to 220 cubic meter. It reduced the total input of the global warming intensity from 62.4 ton CO2 equivalent to 21.8. Also, it reduced the global warming intensity from 27% to 10%, which is the third. In terms of economical impact, we can see that lean and VDC made an improvement of saving by around 18% of the costs. Now, the second experiment is measuring the flow in construction projects using construction flow index, the CFI. Construction flow index, which is a composite that measure and reflects the quality of a production flow in repetitive construction projects. It consists of several parameters that measure where continuity for crews, processing continuity for locations, production variation, and amount of work in progress. It has a lot of benefits. It can help the project managers in evaluate the quality of their production plans, enable management and improvement of production flow. Also, it's a valuable tool for construction research. We use this equation for calculation the construction flow index. Now, the aim of the experiment is to test the flow qualitatively and quantitatively in construction projects. And it's applied construction flow index as a metric measure of production flow quality in construction. This study includes analyzing data for 19 construction projects. Some of them are purely traditional projects, while the others have some combinations of last plan of system, PIM, PIM in the big room, 5S, distributed on the period from 2011 to 2020. Now, this parameter consists of four, uh, this, uh, uh, this construction flow index composite of four main parameters. The first one is the B2 square, which is the standard deviation of the duration normalized using the average B. The second one, B3 square, represents web continuity P5 square is the web quantity, and P6 refers to the cross crossover in the upward progression of a cruise of different trades. We assumed the values for each of these parameters like this, B2 square to be 28%, B3 square to be 38%, P5 square to be 20%, and P6 equal 14%. 
Now, the goals for this experiment, we need to test and to answer these questions. How can Lean, PIM, VDC, 5S, and Last Plan of System improve, improve the flow in construction projects? And what is the effect of implementing Lean and PIM on average target time? Now, this project shows us a matrix of project classification. For here in the Y axis, the, the project's name, and the X axis show us the implementation of PIM, VDC, Last Planner System, or if the project is traditional. We can see here for Yavni building, and for uh, some of them are traditional, while building 10 and 11 have some implementations of Last Planner System. If we look for Boshaian buildings, we see that they have PIM, PIM in the big room, and LBS. Now, for uh, Kraus Holon buildings and the urban park buildings, they are traditionally project with some implementations of last plan of system, weekly work planning. Amina Dave project is VDC with last plan of system and 5S. After we collected the, the data from the control department, we got the data in the format of Excel files and MS projects and we analyzed the data in the construction flow index and we compared not only the CFI values but the parameters in order to see the marginal impact for each implementations of Lean and PIM in the parameters that consist the CFI. The first experiment was to measure the improvement occurs due to last plan of system implementations by comparing Yavni 1, Yavni 20, Yavni 21 with Yavni 10 and 11, which have last plan of system. We can see that the work continuity improved significantly from 19.5%, 8.7%, 16.1%, up to 34.7% and 39.1%. The second comparison was to measure the impact of PIM and last plan of system by comparing Yavni 1 in 2021 with Rosh in 3, 4, and 5. We see that in this experiment, two parameters improved, the web continuity and the NAPTI crossing between tasks. The web continuity improved from 19.5, 8.7, 16.1 up to 29.8%. But the most important thing that the not crossing between tasks improved more. In Yavni 1 and the 20, it's 0 0.22, 0 0.22. It's increased significantly to one in the Bosch IN projects, which means that it's increased five times more. And uh, the not crossing between tasks is very important because it represented that only one subcontractor work in allocation at a specific time. And this is very, very important point because generally, if more than one contractor work in the same location, this affects the productivity for the subcontractors. Now, the third comparison was the marginal impact of PIM. We compared the Bosch I in one, two, with Urban Park A, P, and Kraus Holon A and P. We found that the standard deviation improved from 0.42 and 0.58 in urban parks to 0.81 in Rosh Ayan. Also, the NAPTI crossing between tasks improved significantly from 0.12 and 0.17 in Kraus Holon to 1 in Rosh Ayan, which an improvement of around 10 from 8 to 10 times. After that, we measured the marginal impact of PIM in two types of projects, in high-rise residential projects and in low, project, low residential projects. Here, this comparison between Yavni 10 and 11 with Rosh Ayan 3, 4, and 5. We can see that the standard deviation improved from 0.75 and 0.68 up to 0.84 and 0.88. And the NAPTI crossing between tasks improved from 0.21 and 0.19 up to 1. Now, the, uh, we tried to measure the impact of VDC, Last Planner System, and 5S by comparing Amina Davi project, which have all these things, with Dan Tower, which is purely traditional project. But the problem here that Amina Davi project is not completed until I collected the data. And what happened when I collected the data, it was in the main finishing activities. 
So the data I collected, like it's not representative. If I need to compare it with the, with Dan Tower, which has already completed, and I have all the set of the data, but still the parameters here so show some improvement. We can see that the standard deviation improved from 0.54 to 0.6. The web continuity improved from 49.5 up to 57. Uh, and the construction flow index improved from 4.9 up to 5.7. But how I said, since the project is not ready, we cannot consider the results as the final result, as the final results and to be as like representative sample. Also the same thing when I try to compare Amina Dav with Krauss, Holon A and B and Urban Park A and B. The second part of this experiment is to measure the production rates between different subcontractors in different projects. One of the most important point in the measure in the flow in construction projects is to have approximately the same production rate between different subcontractors. So we try to study the production rate for different activities in these projects. It includes partitions, electrical, plaster, plumbing, sprinklers, until painting too. We can see, for example, for Yavni 10, which is purely traditional project, that there is a lot of variations and a big difference between the different production rates. We can see this also in urban park projects. But if we look for Yav Roshaini projects, which, how I said, it have a combination of lean and BIM in the big room, we can see that the the production rates between different subcontractors have approximately the same values with a small variations. And this is true. When we got the construction flow index value, we have the highest value for these, for these projects. Also for Amin Adavi project, although I said it's, it was in the first activities in the finishing phase, but still if we look here for its uh, for the, the production rate between different subcontractors, we can see that they have approximately the same production rate. Now, this table summary the values for the construction flow index for the different projects. The lowest values was were for the Krauss Holon projects A and B, 4.31. For the uh, Yavne 1, it's 4.92. And the highest values are for Rosha in projects, which show an improvement for around 16, 6.15 until 6.88. So discussion of the results. We can see that last planner system play an important role in improving the wave continuity. It improved the wave continuity from 8.7 and 19.5 in Yavni 20 and Yavni 1 to 29.8 in Rosh in number three. Also, it showed that beam and lean doubled work continuity in Rosh in a project and reduced the crossing between tasks fivefold compared with the traditional buildings. Also, it increased the working continuity from 8.7 and 19.5 in Yavni 20 and Yavni 1 to 29.8 in Rosh in number three. The results also showed that it increased the nutty crossing between tasks from 0.21 and 0.19 in Yavni 1 and Yavni 11 to 1 in Rosh in number 3. Another thing is the results show that implementing PIM without lean improves the standard deviation between different subcontractors. And we made these comparisons for two different things for projects, low residential projects, and for high residential projects. And in the both cases, it showed that it increased from 0.58 in Urban Park A up to 0.81 in Rosh in number one. Also, it increased from 0.68 in Yafni 11 to 0.88 in Rosh in number four. The results also showed that implementing lean without PIM improves the work flow, but not with the same efficiency as implementing lean and BIM together. And this support the synergy between, and, between lean and BIM to get the benefits of both and more, and support the metrics that were developed by Zax et al. in 2010. Findings and future research. 
The experiment which showed the reduction in greenhouse gases may add value for the investigation and exploration of the relationship between green buildings and uh, construction management. And uh, like, to be honest, it motivated the authors to think about a new approach for the green building construction. This is a new approach based on green building uh, to, 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 to optimize the green building through construction management and not only depending on rating systems. Also, the second experiment which showed the flow in construction project, it's like, it's encouraged the companies and the project manager to implement it and like to uh, in their companies. Now the research limitations. Data collected was the hardest challenge that faced the researcher. The last plan of system started by monitoring the weekly work planning and collecting the BPC. The challenge was that the project manager didn't keep the BPC documentation which required from the researcher to attend the weekly meetings. Since the research duration is limited and the amount of PBC will not be representative sample, the author with, with his supervisors decide to measure the project's flow. Also COVID-19, we, we were planning to make another uh, experiment. And one of these experiments in Vision Lithium, there is like, an experiment called centralized uh, mixing and supply of bulk materials, which uh, related to the principles of 5S. We tried to make this experiment in the construction project, but since the transportation stopped and the uh, companies like reduced the staff in the construction sites, so we decided to postpone and to delay this experiment. Research contribution. There is environmental sector by reducing the greenhouse gases, economical sector by reducing costs of wasted material and its associated transportation. Also, construction flow index results will encourage the construction companies to implement it during the planning and to measure the work flow for different subcontractors and try to maintain global optimization. For the academic contribution, results show the extent to which Lean and PIM can improve the construction industry will encourage more research in that field. And at the end, the acknowledgements, I will thank Tidhar Company for supporting and funding this project and for their collaboration and opening for us their construction sites to execute the experiments and providing us with all the data we needed also, I will thank Ed Sashakit company for allowing us to go and uh, execute uh, experiments in their construction sites. Also, I will thank special, special people in this company that I contacted them a lot. Mr. Isi Beskar, Guy Fremar, Dubi Dovev, Vital Breven, Amus Hadar, and Moshe Hilly. And I will thank also my very interesting professors, Professor Rafael Zaks and Professor Sabrina for supporting me during all the master. And thanks very much for, for you for listening. Now question time. Well, thank you very much, Musa. You're, uh, you're right on time. So that's great that we do have um, some minutes for questions. We'll ask, um, people in the audience to turn on their microphones and cameras. Uh, we have two possibilities. If you'd like to ask a question through the chat, then that's one possibility. And, um, uh, or simply open your microphone and your camera and uh, put up your hand and uh, I'll be happy to call on people to, uh, to ask questions. Uh, Shmuel. Welcome Shmuel, all the way from New Zealand. Hi, uh, I'd, I'd love to jump in with a question. Sure. Uh, Musab, you said, um, you know, a lot of the, the research, the prior literature had not shown any interaction effects between lean and, and VDC. Um, and that was one of your major objectives with the research. I'm curious, did you control for other factors uh, when analyzing the different projects, particularly given the limited sample size you had? For example, company size or project size. Um, and I remember, I think you also mentioned that weather 
was seen in the research in the literature to be a big impact on um, outcomes of projects. So did you control for any of those other factors? Yes, uh, like for this, uh, for the for this coefficients, like the reasons for non completion work that I mentioned them in the literature was for the last planner system. And how I mentioned in the research limitations, I was planning to measure the PPC and the and the last planner system effect, but do you like to limit the duration for the for the research and not documentation of this for the project managers? That I visited many construction projects and I asked the project managers about the PPC. He said we only keep them for one month or one and a half and we remove them from the board. So I didn't get these data for analyzing and I went to make another experiment and measuring the flow in the projects uh, and I applied the construction flow index. So the last planner system, I didn't like uh, measure it or analyze it in this research. I think that um, Shmuel is asking whether you, uh, whether there may have been other factors other than uh, LP, uh, other than Li Ling Lim that could have impacted the uh, flow in these projects in the 19 projects. I think yes, like there is like cultural aspect sometimes, uh, sometimes uh, uh, unseen conditions. There is a lot of things, but the things that I mentioned them in the literature was the dominant in the, like in the literature that I executed, or what, like was the main reasons in most of the studies. Okay, uh, Yasha, I see that you're unmuted and perhaps you'd like to ask a question. Welcome, of course. Thank you. Uh, welcome back, coming back to Israel. Um, now, I'm just a guest here. I really enjoyed the presentation. I think it's, uh, very exciting, very thorough, and I mean, the scope is impressive. But I don't, I don't feel comfortable enough to ask question now. So just thank you. Thanks very much. No problem. Um, any other questions, comments? Yeah, Ed. You'll need to unmute. Mute. Yes. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, I actually, like Yasha, don't have any questions, but I wanted to congratulate you. It was a very informative uh, and uh, the results were very interesting. And also just to give a personal note that I was an architect working on the Russia Iron project. And it's really nice to see um, all the impact that BIM has on the project uh, beyond the scope of work of the architect. So uh, it's really good to see. Thanks very much. This is very kind of you. It really is. Um, perhaps I will add only the comment that um, what you saw in the results were uh, an experiment related to partition blocks uh, and the construction of partitions. However, of course, uh, the construction is made up of many other activities. And uh, although the results are very impressive for the blocks, especially in terms of um, global warming, uh, that's not necessarily the case for all the other trades. Um, the, the amount of waste of materials in flooring, for example, is probably similar, but in activities like electrical and plumbing, it may be less. Uh, the, the point being that although we certainly claim that in the partitions, our results over many, many years show that the ability to impact the, the, the environmental impact of construction seems to be much greater through the construction process than has previously been acknowledged. And so that by applying lean VDC, uh, if we can reduce the amount of uh, the, the global warming potential by 20 to 30 percent, then that's enormous compared to any impact we can have perhaps by choosing a slightly different material or by installing some other system in the building. So these, in terms of lead and other evaluations, should probably have much more significance than they're given today. And I think that's where the starting point for um, continuing work. Uh, and also perhaps for us in the construction industry to take note and say, uh, if we are serious about uh, carbon emission reductions, then we need to be much more about considering how we build 
and not only what we will. Yes, sure. And this is like it's open for us the idea and to develop a proposal for the PhD about like optimize the Zengigni building for construction management approach, especially for Lean and PIM. Right. Well, uh, unless anyone has any other burning question, we will um, thank uh, Mustaf in the traditional way. You do have. Uh, Rafael, I'll, I'll, you yeah. know, if. if Nobody asks question. I have some minor comments, of course, uh, which are you know not in the main direction of the research, but I think they're worth uh, saying right now. Um, first of all, maybe I missed it because I was distracted during the presentation. I didn't see limitations. Uh, what were the limitation of the research? What were the problems in the research that you know no research is perfect and every research has limitations. Part of them are the uh, uh, small, uh, small uh, uh, number of buildings, the, the data, where you get the data sources and all that. Uh, yeah. Hey. So, yeah. So, yeah, yeah sure. now, now I see. Uh, so probably this is the part where I, uh, uh, where I missed the slide. Yes, so like the research. Oh, sorry. The, so the research limitations that the data collection was the hardest challenge. Also, like another thing, the uh, for example, in the construction flow index, when I measured, I measured the impact of VDC in one project, which is Amina Dav's project. Now this project is incomplete project, and also I didn't go get all the activities because it, it's until now under construction. So what I suggested for future research, and it was a limitation in my research, is to get more and more data for these projects. And in order like to be a representative sample to cover not only one VDC project, to cover multi VDC projects with all uh, activities. And also like the data I got, it, it's for 19 construction projects. I think if further research includes more and more, this will give more representative samples. Now, uh, the documentation data in the construction company, they only document the finishing date. They didn't document the start date. So when I made the analysis, this required a huge, uh, like a lot of time uh, in order to know or to, to make approximations to get the start date and to get the data from Excel files, from MSC projects, and to make like some logic assumptions in order to get the start date and to be able to measure the production rate and to measure the construction flow index. So one of the main limitations, I think the sample size and in the future, if the company have a lot of VDC projects with a set of data, this will make an interesting research to analyze these projects and to get more accurate and more precise data. Okay. Well, I uh, sorry about missing this uh, uh, slide, but I agree about the data, uh, the sample size. I agree that I mean, at least in our faculty, we usually take 10 projects as a master's uh, sample size and about 30 and up as a PhD. That's kind of a thumb rule uh, in our yeah. faculty. So my uh, second question, which is basically the first one, because I, um, I mean, the first one was, uh, uh, problematic because you actually mentioned it. So the second question is about the literature review. Uh, and it's, it's more of a comment. Uh, you know, your system of presenting the literature review was uh, going like this research said that, and the other one said that, and you, you I'm sure you, re you reviewed about 20 or 30 uh, researchers. And uh, I find it usually very, very confusing to stay focused and to, you know, to understand what you want to say. This is more of a, yes, I read all the papers. I recommend, and it's a comment, it's not a, que it's not a question, to yeah. uh, switch to a system of thematic system. You know, what were the themes and what were the gaps? Because uh, at the end, you showed, at the end of your literature review, you saw one slide. Can you go switch back to the end of the literature review? Yeah. Like the gaps slide? Yeah. Yeah, so, so, yeah. so this is like 
the gap. And this is the conclusion of all the previous papers. And it's not really connected. Well, I, I expect in your thesis to have a, a gap chapter which connects all the articles into a list of gaps from which you choose one or two. I'm sure the field has many other gaps that you didn't choose to focus on. So it's more of about, uh, about the system of how you present it and how you uh, communicate it to the reader or to the uh, person who uh, you know, see the research than how you actually work. Ah, uh, yes. Very interesting uh, comment. Yeah, I, I will take it in consideration for the exam. All right. Yeah. Okay, I think now we indeed are um, ending our a lot of time. We do have a few minutes for everyone to take a break and have a rest before the next um, seminar lecture at, uh, at 10.30. Uh, I do want to, first of all, of course, thank Musa and uh, let's uh, show him appreciation in the traditional way. There is also a set of uh, icons at the bottom where you can react mm -hmm. and, uh, and clap and we can give him a, a round of applause. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Musa. There you go. You Thank can you. see on Zoom that everyone's clapping, but symbolically. <laughs> yeah, it's very and, nice. Uh, yeah. And um, I will bring your attention to the fact that the next lecture at 10.30 will be on a different Zoom uh, address. Uh, Musa, you have in your chat the uh, link to Iran's um, lecture. Oh, if yes. you, and we can't send that to everyone. So if you could send that, because we're, you're the yeah. host. If you could simply yeah. copy that to the chat for everyone else, then yeah. uh, those who wish to uh, can move over to the other room uh, for the um, for the next lecture. So that will yeah. be there. It is on the chat right now. You can see it. Uh, it's ready, there. I think. Yeah. So thank you, everybody, and uh, we'll see you uh, in five minutes in the other one.